Welcome back to class 3 this is the continuation of how to start trading for beginners. If you have not watched the previous two classes, then first make sure you have watched them. In this video, we will discuss what supports and resistance are, why they are important, and how you can use them to make better trading decisions. Supports and resistance are two of the most important concepts in technical analysis. They represent price levels where the market has historically shown a tendency to stop and reverse. Support is the price level where buying pressure is expected to be strong, enough to prevent further price declines. Resistance, on the other hand, is the price level where selling pressure is expected to be strong enough to prevent further price increases. The key to identifying support and resistance levels is to look four areas on the chart where price has repeatedly bounced or stalled. Once you have identified these levels, you can use them to make better trading decisions. Now that you have understood how to identify support and resistance, let me show you this with a illustration that will make it more easy for you. Here you have seen in order to spot a support and resistance you require area from where the price has bounced so for you to draw a support or resistance you will require at least two such points. Now let us assume you have identified such two points. Point A and point B. Connect both these two points and extend like this. The extended line will be area of interest to take trades. This extended line will be the area where you will take short and long trades, along with candlestick confirmations. I really hope you have watched the class 1 where I have shown the best bullish and bearish patterns. Now for example, if the price of an asset is approaching a known support level, it may be a good time to enter a long position, because there is a high likelihood that the price will bounce off that support level and begin to rise again. Conversely, if the price is approaching a known resistance level, it may be a good time to enter a short position, because there is a high likelihood that the price will bounce off that resistance level and begin to fall again. Support and resistance levels can also be used to set stop loss and take profit levels. By placing your stop loss just below a support level, you can limit your losses if the price falls through that level. And by placing your take profit just below a resistance level, you can lock in your profits if the price reaches that level and begins to fall. Now let us see this on charts, so that you get more clarity. Point A. Point B. Now that you have identified two points extend it, and wait for price to reach this area of interest. Once the price approaches this level, and you get confirmation. In this case a bullish candle was spotted and price went up. But wait, will you take closing of the candles, or wicks into consideration to draw support and resistance. I will show you this in later part of the video. Let's see a example of resistance here. Point A. Point B. Now that you have identified two points extend it and wait for price to reach this area of interest. Once the price approaches this level and you get confirmation. In this case a bearish candle was spotted and price went down. The secret that all you want to know. Do you consider closing of candle or the shadows? You must consider both. What do I mean? Support and resistance are not just lines that you can draw. What do I mean by this? Support and resistance are zone areas from where price is likely to reverse from. Over here we have point 1 and point 2. First we connected both these points and extend it like this. Once these steps are completed, go to tools and select rectangle and draw a rectangle from these points to above two wicks of body which we have selected. Now you have a resistance zone which is area of interest. Now let us see how support turns in resistance and resistance turns into support. If you are getting something valuable from this video hit that like button. Here support broken turned into resistance. Whenever this happens, this becomes an important key level for future reference. Here resistance broken turned into support. Whenever this happens, this becomes an important key level for future reference. In conclusion, support and resistance are two of the most important concepts in technical analysis. 
They can help you make better trading decisions by identifying key price levels where the market is likely to reverse. By understanding how to identify and use these levels, you can improve your chances of success in trading. Thank you for watching this video on support and resistance in trading. Subscribe so you don't miss the next class on trading patterns.